What's up, Dark Siders? Dave H. Dark Side Kennels. I just figured I wanted to let you guys know that video I did yesterday. <laughs> that video I did. Um, I got a hat crooked and everything. That was a joke for somebody. So just so you know, I wasn't high. I wasn't. I ain't losing my mind. I was just doing that to be funny. That's all that was. So take it with a grain of salt. It wasn't. I was just trying to be stupid, act stupid, you know, try and play the part. That's all. Uh, everything's going good here. Puppies are going good. You know, they're they're eating their mush here and there. They're not, you know, they're they're just they're three weeks old soon. That's a little early, but I'm pushing it a little bit. I made it real thin, but they're still eating it because they're moving around so quick. You know, they they moved around quicker than I thought they would. You know, mom was producing real good milk. I've been keeping good weight on mom, and uh, everything's been going good. The mastitis that she had went away, healed up. She produced some milk in all her nipples, so, you know, everything's good. Now what I'm going to do probably with Jasmine is um, I'm not going to breed her next time. I think next time I'm going to give her a break, skip the heat. And, you know, some people say you just breathe back to bed. I understand, but, you know, the dog's tired. You know I mean, give her a break. So, I don't even know if I'm going to breed her again. I might not breed her again. I might I might breed her one more time. She won't be bred no more than one more time, though. So, probably, my plan now is to skip a heat, then breed her one last time, and then have her fixed. That's the plan. Um, the lilac pocket that I that I acquired. She's taking to me, boy. She's like following me all over the house, man. Little muscle bound thing. And she's gonna get bred one more time if she goes in the heat. Her next heat, if she comes in the heat soon, I'm gonna breed her. And then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna have that litter and I'm gonna have her fixed afterwards. Um, Cause she's, she's four years old. So she, it's, it's like time to get it done or, you know, or don't do it. <clears throat> and uh what else i got some dog shows i'm gonna be going to soon i'm not gonna name them all but I'm going to danny's show in october of course but uh here's some other ones you know i'm gonna try and make it's hard for me because i got the kennel and i don't have anybody really watch the dogs so i gotta pay basically i pay one of my plumbing techs to watch my dogs they come over to feed them to take care of them shit cleaning kennels um but they you know I might even have them stay here while well in the other bedroom or something while I'm away gotta have somebody watch them because I mean if I can't you imagine trying to board all these dogs probably 10 grand just board them for a week um what else I'm trying to think of what I wanted to tell you guys oh I'm working on that uh, the dark side Fridays thing I don't know if I'm going to get it done by Friday, but I'll have it done by next Friday. So, it's just, I'm waiting on the help that I need, and, you know, if they're not available, I can't get it done, because, you know, I'm not a computer nerd. It's not my thing. Um, I'm going to get it fixed, get it rolling, and uh, get the camera straightened out on a PC, get the stream yard, all that stuff in there, and rock and roll with it. Then we could chop it up on air on Fridays at 7. That'd be cool. And, uh, like I said, that video I did, that was just that was just a funny thing I did. That was all that was. And what else? I'm trying to think what else we got. Blue should be coming in the heat, like, really soon. I mean, like, soon. You know? Like in the next couple weeks. So we'll see what happens with that. And Sandy's right behind her. Probably two weeks behind her, I think. I know my ass is tired today, man. Whew, I'm wore out. I look like it, too. I I'm, 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 no, I look tired. But, uh, you know, when you got puppies and all these dogs and stuff to take care of, and you're up three, four, five times a night sometimes, you know, it happens. I appreciate everybody that's bought a puppy so far. Um, 
um, what I'm going to do, just because I said I'm not greedy, man. I'm not, you know, I'm not a greedy dude. You know, I mean, I got to make money off of this. But for, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to motivate some of you. All right. This is how it's going to roll. A little bit of motivation. All the solid color puppies. Not to try. But like the sable male, the two blues. That other champagne female, which is one of the biggest, if not the biggest female in the litter. With those remaining puppies, people to send me first, people to send me five hundred dollars. You're gonna get the puppy for two grand. You're gonna get five hundred dollars off. I said twenty five is only gonna be two. You send me a deposit within the next forty eight hours. Price is two grand. I'm trying to motivate. And, uh, you know, like I said, I'm not greedy. I'm not, I'm not here trying to kill it. And, you know, you know, I got to get four grand a puppy. I mean, in this economy and all the shit that's going on right now, nah. Be honest with you. Everybody says trust the blood, blah, 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 blah. Let me tell you something. Puppies are a crapshoot, okay? I did this when I did Rottweilers. I bred Rottweilers for 10 years, okay? I spent four grand 15 years ago. For a puppy directly from Germany, okay, from Graf von der Teufelsbruck, okay, his son, right, Karl von Hausrup was the name of the dog, and uh, you know, there's no guarantee. I mean, you can get dog, you know, dog have bad hip, can have anything wrong with it. See, so, you know, to me, I think, you know, when you start asking five, six, seven thousand dollars for a puppy, that's crazy. You know, I can see you going as high as 4500 but then, unless it's something crazy, you know, crazy, crazy blood or something out of the ordinary, exceptional, I mean, I just, I don't see it, you know, so, I mean, I don't know, what are your guys' thoughts on price, what do you think? I mean, I don't think it should be something for $1,500 either, I mean, Christ, because by the time you pay for the ear crop and all that, I mean... Twenty five hundred for a regular solid color is a good price on, on a killer bloodline. If you got really killer bloodline, you know, DNA checked, all that shit, twenty five hundred is fair. Merles, you're starting at three K and you're going up. You know, I mean, because I mean, especially if it's killer pattern, if it's a crazy pattern, you know, it's hard to get that stuff. You know, you don't because you don't know what the hell you're gonna get. I was surprised with this litter. I did not breed for color for this litter. Just to let everybody know, I did not breed for color on this litter. That is not. I bred for top line, actually. Kobe's top line and angulation is killer. Okay? Jasmine has a little bit of a high rear. I'm trying to squash that. That's why I did the breeding. It had nothing to do with color. It had nothing to do with nothing. Because Kobe's not a big dog. Kobe's like 100 pounds soaking wet. You know what I'm saying? He's only about 100 pounds. That's it. He ain't 105. He ain't, I mean, not yet. I mean, he's a young dog, too. I mean, he's three, probably 105, 107, something like that. But he's not there yet. You know what I'm saying? So, I bred for top line and, you know, correct movement and that type of thing, you know? Because the size is on her side back a generation or two. Okay? So... That's, that's, you know, and I, I think it came through. Recessive gene came through because I'm telling you, man, these puppies are big, man. I mean, that one Merle I'm keeping, that thing is huge, man. He looks like a freak. I mean, I was just looking at him. He's sitting there sleeping. His head is huge, huge. His neck is huge. He's just massive. But there's no runs in the litter. All the dogs have good weight, good back skulls, good stops, good, you know, I mean, I know how to break down the dog, you know, angulation, blah, blah, blah. I mean, we can't really see that yet because they're not really walking around. But I could break down, you know, their head pieces and their necks and stuff like that. You know, when they get 8, 10 weeks old, we'll have them all moving around. And we'll see who's who, you know what I mean? There's no guarantees with puppies, man. There's no guarantees. It's in, you could have a litter and it could all be garbage. You could have a litter and it could all be stellar. I mean, just, it's genetics and luck of the draw, you know? But well, hope everybody's having a good day. And uh, puppies are all mush. They're they're eating it here and there. Plus they're feeding off mom still. And I'm just trying to you know little little by little, just trying to get them you know boost them up a little bit. 
Hope everybody's having a good day, and I'll talk to you all later. Peace.